Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic Inspirations and I'm here with a Divine Masculine reading <clears throat> and we're going to be doing the Divine Masculine Thoughts and this is for those of you in separation, no contact if you resonate with a twin flame or soulmate connection so we're going to have a look at see where his thinking is right now with regards to his life the connection with the Divine Feminine and his Divine Feminine um, for the whole of March I'm doing a giveaway so thank you for your love and support. If you want to win a free reading, just subscribe, like and comment the word love in the comments down, down below. Um, and then you can get a free reading from me. There's several up for grabs. My deck shop and my Patreon links are all down below as well. And don't be afraid to make a comment. That would be great. Or a like. That would be really great. It really helps my channel and it doesn't cost you a thing. So, as I say, we're going to look at the Divine Masculine's thoughts right now. So I pre-shuffled the oracles and we're going to clarify with the tarot. And I'm using the Sacred Destiny Oracle. So we've got Solitude. Potential. Release. Enlightenment, protection, stillness, thriving, purity, relaxation, going forward. Leadership and openness. So I feel the Divine Masculine could be single right now, could be alone, um, or just spending more time alone in that solitude, you know, going within. I feel really contemplating what they want for their life, really spending more time alone maybe than they, they ever have. And with the potential, I feel they're looking at the potential for their life. What is it they want for their life? And they're doing release work here and we're in that full moon energy. And they could be releasing a lot of the past things that have happened to them in the past. They could be releasing patterns of behaviour. But whatever it is, they're, they're doing some release work and they're getting enlightenment. They're seeing the truth of what's happening and what this connection is about and we've got protection i feel they always feel really protective of the divine feminine they just feel very protective even though you're in separation there's always this energy that they feel quite protective of you and they're in the stillness right now so there is no action there is nothing happening between you it's quiet there's no communication there's no movement but they're thriving in their own life. They've done well. They've focused on their, you know, maybe their work or finances. And they're, they're doing well. They're in a good energy. And with that purity, I feel they, they want that whole new beginning. They want to leave the past behind. They want to clear the air, I feel, with them, their feminine. They want to clear the air and talk things out and, you know, speak about what's happened and we've got relaxation, so I feel that they're learning to relax. There could have been somebody that was quite controlling and somebody that was always busy because they didn't want to think, they didn't want to feel, and they, they're learning to relax and take that time out for self-love and self-care. And they want to move forward. They want to go forward, okay? Um, I feel with this connection, and they want to lead. They want to lead and take the lead and be open and honest with the feminine i feel about how they're feeling right now so let's clarify with the tarot so we've got that solitude energy there so what is that talking about we've got two of pentacles yeah so i feel that they're really weighing up the pros and cons 
of where they want to go next. Yeah, and we've got the hermit energy. So, yeah, they, they could be in hermit mode, as I said, spending that time alone. And we've got the enlightenment. And I feel this would really help them to get that clarity, to get that enlightenment. And they're looking at the potential. What is it they want to achieve in their life? What is it they want for this connection? And we've got the Hierophant. So, it to me, they do want to commit to this. That's what that's saying to me. Okay, <clears throat> and take that spiritual path, take that spiritual journey. And they want to release the past, they want to let go of the past. Yeah, we've got four of cups. So, you know, they missed the opportunity of you, they're realizing that what they missed out on, and they want to leave it behind. They want to move forward, as we saw here, going forward. And they've got that enlightenment now, and we've got the Ace of Wands. So, they're feeling very passionate. They still have this passion and desire for the feminine. And they're realising that it's more than that. You know, that it was more than lust. I feel they thought it was just lust. Yeah, and they want to reach out with that Eight of Wands. They want to communicate. They want to move things forward. And they want to share their truth here with the Ace of Swords. They want to bring truth and clarity to this situation. And they do feel very protective, I feel, the feminine. Yeah, we've got temperance energy. So I feel that they're coming into balance in their own energies and they want to bring balance to this connection. I feel it was out of balance before, okay? There was a lack of give and take. So they're spending time right now. This reminds me of like the... Um, the hangman energy and the tarot and we've got the knight of swords so I feel after that period of stillness of contemplation they're wanting to come forward with the truth and we saw that with the ace of swords uh, and the eight of wands they want to come through forward they could be an air sign Aquarius Libra Gemini but it doesn't have to be but somebody then wants to come forward with the truth and it could be fast moving energy because they're feeling good about themselves right now they're in that um sort of abundant energy in their own lives they're, they're doing well but they feels they feel there's something missing yeah we've got the chariot they want to move forward they want to come forward and they want to cleanse and clear the air with that purity there yeah we've got four of swords because they've taken that time out as i said to do that healing, to rest, recharge, spend time alone. And they want to bring that to this situation, to this connection. And they're learning to relax. Yeah, we've got the Ten of Wands reversed. So they're putting down the burdens of their life. You know, they're, they're coming to the end of that period of struggle and worry. And they're getting ready to move forward. They want to go forward here. They want to move forward. Yeah, they want to bring justice to this situation. They want to sort things out, they want to work it out, they want to take the lead. Yeah, we've got the Knight of Cups here as well. So they want to bring romance, I mean, there could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, they want to be in romance, love and fun into your life. They want to be open and honest about how they're feeling. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, so, you know, they are single, they see you as somebody single, independent energy. You're two independent people. You're not needy. You're not codependent. You know, you're you're okay being on your own. You don't need another person. And that is an attractive energy. What else can you tell us? Wow, we've got the lovers. So, yeah, they feel this energy, this soulmate, this twin flame energy. They, you know, you're connected, you know, there's a, there's a tie, there's a soul tie there. And they still feel very passionate towards you. They want to express this desire. But they do have feelings, yeah, look at that, the Ace of Cups. They want to offer you love. They want that brand new beginning. And it's the Ace of Pentacles, you know, it's going to be abundant financially. And, you know, balance with that Six of Pentacles. They're bringing in this love, a new beginning in love, which is balanced which is abundant, which is what they want with their Divine Feminine. So let's look at some other energies. So we've got Perseverance. 
I know I can do whatever I set my mind to. So they're persevering through all the difficulties, like I said, but they're getting ready to put down those burdens. They've had a lot to deal with and they've had lonely times. I know that I'm never alone. So, you know, it's a case of learning to be in your own energy and not feeling alone. And I feel that's for both the feminine and the masculine. You've had to learn that, that being alone doesn't mean being lonely. But yes, you've had periods of loneliness, but you are in that independent energy. You're you're OK being alone. And yes, there's been growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. awareness. So they, they've grown, you know, as a person. And peace, I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. So yeah, coming out of toxic behaviours and thought patterns and following a purpose, I know what I'm here to do. So, you know, getting sure, you know, they're doing that in the work, getting sure of what it is they want to do. And having gra gratitude, I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities it presents. Being grateful for what has happened, what they have. And death, I'm learning that ending some early beginning. So they could have been dealing with loss in their life, but it also talks about that transformation. So they could have lost somebody in their life very close to them, but I feel it's also about transforming and they want to transform this period of separation into a new beginning because they have love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So they're in that energy of self-love and they're able, able or want to express that love to their feminine. And judgment, you know, this is like the judgment in the tarot. They want to resurrect this. Okay, they want to resurrect it. So um, I've got this love, uh, what's it called? The Island Time Wellness deck. Karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, loving you. So I feel there was a karmic lessons with, within this connection for both of you. And the, the bottom line of it is they, they are loving you, they're letting go, they've dealt with the lessons, this is mutual I feel. And they have that love and it's all about divine timing, taking that time to do that healing work, okay, before you're ready to come together. And, you know, someone expresses love, a message, a phone call, could be a text. Somebody's thinking of you and they want to let you know, okay? And paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. This is what they want to bring to you. That We saw that um, Knight of Cups energy. They want to bring happiness, joy, playful energy, enjoying each other. And welcoming love, you have the... You have the lock to their, to open their heart. You have the lock to each other's heart. The key, sorry, the key to each other's lock, you know, to open their heart. And the timing, it's all about timing to get them together, to open up to love. An engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion and union. So, yeah, they want to bring forward this. They want to commit. You know, we saw that with the Hierophant. They want to commit. They want to, you know commit to this to this relationship to have that union with their feminine so what do they want to say i'm fearful and anxious of how strong my feelings are for you you are stunning a true beauty because i haven't been able to forget you you are so sexy so desirable i want you bad i want you now so there's a lot of passion here i love the scent of you the taste of you and i want more of you so they they you know they're missing you remembering those times are my happiest memories and I'm afraid of rejection. So that's the bottom line. But they are going to overcome that, I feel, because anybody that feels strongly about somebody will overcome that, okay? And they will, you know, we can see that they are going to make a move forward. So they're getting ready to be a, uh, to be authentic. Some of you could be, some of the masculines could be Aquarius or you could be Aquarius. But they're getting ready to be authentic. And they're looking at the bigger picture. We can see that the overall energy and they've been working hard we can see that with that capricorn could be capricorns you know they've done well in the material realm and they want to start a brand new romantic cycle they want to have a fresh start and justice again you know that the libra energy so some of them could be libra and be bold and make the first move so they know that they need to be bold and to make that first move so beautiful messages there i'm going to leave it there love and blessings